what does it take to make a great affordable phone? You have to get the price right first, of course, but then these days you're expected to also deliver a fine design, good performance, solid battery life and a camera that punches above its weight. The new Samsung Galaxy A6 Plus aims to do just that. It's a phone that will not break the bank, yet it features a thin yet sturdy metal body, a dual camera with live focus portrait mode and the Samsung Experience interface. But how does that all come together once you actually start using the phone? Hello guys, my name is Vic Kristoff with Phone Arena and this is our review of the Galaxy A6 Plus. While the current trend favors phones with a glass back, we were actually happy to use a phone made of metal for a change. It definitely doesn't feel as brittle as a glass phone, the back doesn't get all dirty with fingerprint smudges, and you can even risk using it without a case without fearing that the slightest drop would shatter the back. On the right side of the phone, you have a power key, and on the left side you get two separate volume buttons. On the bottom you can find a micro USB port for charging, a sad leftover from the past and a minor inconvenience when you plug that cable the wrong way. You also get a 3.5mm headphone jack on the bottom, good news for those who use wired headphones still. On the back is a dual camera system that bulges out ever so slightly and a fingerprint scanner right below the cameras. The fingerprint scanner is positioned within easy reach and it scans very accurately, but also it's a bit on the slow side. There is a slight but noticeable delay between the moment you place your finger and the moment the device unlocks. It's not a deal breaker by any means, but still worth pointing out. You also have face recognition built in. Just register your face, click the power key on the side to power up the phone and look at it and it automatically unlocks. Face recognition works well during the day and could even recognize me with sunglasses on, but at night it's not all that accurate and it's not as secure as a fingerprint scan. Two features that you will not find on the A6 Plus are waterproofing and wireless charging. Not a surprise for an affordable phone, but still something to keep in mind. With its slim bezels and big 6 inch Super AMOLED screen, the Galaxy A6 Plus has got a considerable advantage over other phones in its class. No other such affordable phone has the lush AMOLED colors that this Galaxy has. The display also features a 1080 by 2220 pixel Full HD Plus resolution, which is sharp enough so that you don't see any pixelization in regular use. You also have four different color modes that you can pick from. The default adaptive mode bets on boosted, punchy colors, but you can get more toned down colors in the other three modes, AMOLED Cinema, AMOLED Photo and the Basic mode. This being a Samsung phone with an AMOLED screen, you also get the useful always on display feature that shows you the time, date, battery percentage and whether you have any missed notifications right on the lock screen. This useful feature is nice to have, but do keep in mind that if you use it, it will drain the battery of the phone faster. The A6 Plus sports the Samsung Experience interface version 9.0 on top of Android 8.0 Oreo, which is the latest major release of Android. One word about updates. Affordable Android phones like this one are often terrible at getting software updates on time. Keep that in mind. For all else, Samsung Experience looks great and features some nice built-in apps like a useful weather app, a well laid out settings menu and a nice built-in gallery and calendar apps. At the same time we expect more from Samsung Experience. Other companies like Xiaomi now include gesture navigation in even their cheapest phones while no such option is present here. There is however one big compromise that Samsung makes with the Galaxy A6 Plus its performance. The A6 Plus just doesn't feel like a very fast phone. It only has the entry level Snapdragon 450 on board and it runs with a noticeable stutter and makes you wait an extra second or two for apps and games to load and for things to move. In terms of storage you get 32GB on board and the option to add additional storage via microSD cards. With this clear, let's turn to the cameras. You get a dual camera system on the back of the phone with a 16 megapixel main shooter and a 5 megapixel secondary camera that work together for live focus shots. The actual quality is very good with pleasing color reproduction on photos shot during the day. 
photos are just a tad bit on the soft side and there is definitely a bit of excess noise, but those are hardly big issues. What we are most impressed with though is definitely selfies with a clean sharp look and support for live focus from the front camera, selfies taken on the Galaxy A6 Plus look stunning. Then you have live focus or portrait mode in layman terms, which works very well and separates the subject from the background nicely on the main camera. In terms of video quality, you only get 1080p full HD video recordings and no 4K video quality, which is a bit of a letdown, considering other phones of a similar caliber do offer this option. You have a single loudspeaker on the Galaxy A6 Plus, but unlike most phones, this speaker is located actually on the right side of the phone, right above the power key. The sound quality you get through this loudspeaker is good, with a decent amount of clarity and loudness, but of course it's not quite on par with flagship phones. When it comes to call quality, we had no issues here. Voices in the earpiece are loud and clear, so colors will have no problem hearing you well. The Samsung Galaxy A6 Plus ships with a 3500 mAh battery, which ranks slightly above the average for its size. We ran our battery life test on the phone and it scored nearly 10 hours, much higher than the average. You may not be able to get two days on a single charge, but the phone will last even through the longest day, easily. The phone also ships with a regular charger and there is no fast charging. It takes two hours and 11 minutes to fully recharge it from a dead battery. The Galaxy A6 Plus might be an affordable phone, but it is not downright cheap. The starting price is set at 370 euro in Europe and rumors are that the A6 series might also come to the United States later on in the future. At its current price, your alternatives are the Honor 10, which has a more glitzy look and a faster processor, the Nokia 7 Plus with its clean Android version and again, faster performance and a few other phones. Summing it all up, the Galaxy A6 Plus is an elegant and sturdy metal phone with an impressive AMOLED screen with lush colors, very good camera that punches above its weight with impressive portrait shots and some of the best selfies on an affordable phone. It's also got a solid battery life that helps you get through even those longer days. It is not a fast phone, however, and there are other minor annoyances. The old micro USB port, the slow charging speeds, the lack of 4K video, and so on. Overall, this feels like a decent affordable phone, but also one that is slightly overpriced. And this wraps up our review of the Galaxy A6 Plus. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe for more videos, and I will see you in the next one.